Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and yes, my god, there's two videos, two videos in the same week and the live stream. It's like I've actually done something amazing, amazing. But yeah, we're going to be doing a video and I'm a little bit annoyed about this one. Not as much as the last video that I, we just went through, but I'm very annoyed at this video for the way that working practices was for this person. And no, I don't know the whole story. And yes, I probably should wait for more facts. But you know, God damn it, I want to react. I, I want to be a reactionary. I, I do actually honestly feel that this needs to be talked about. If this is actually true, though, again, I provide the caveat of if this is true, I would like to try and perform some form of skepticism. Though, you know, probably not going to happen with the reaction. But we shall see. I'm not going to say that I'm non-biased. I try to be as best as I can, but I'm very interested in this story and if it is actually true or not. So we're going to do a little bit of digging. We're going to be able to have a little bit of looking around and seeing what happens and that sort of stuff. Now let's get into the video about, on the face of it, somebody taking a day off to have a miscarriage got sacked from their job. So we're now going to be talking about the a glow golf worker fired after emergency miscarriage was offered her job back, but only after the story actually went viral. I find this very interesting. I find it very interesting of how this story has occurred and everything else like that. So let's go through. I will give you some editorializations of my opinions on this story, but also as well, I would really like for people to try and separate their ideas and their preconceptions of what they think this story is going to be about and just try and understand the story and where it's coming from. So to start off, we have a woman fired from a Henrietta miniature golf center after she missed a shift while suffering a miscarriage is declining the company's offer to have her job back, which if everything is absolutely true on the story of which is being said, I don't blame her. Because once this has gone off, then they could quite easily fire her again. Or make her do stuff that she may not necessarily want to do with work or do different shift times or, or whatever. But let's carry on reading. They did offer my job back and I can say I will not work there again, said Jessica Starward of Hilton, who walked sorry, who worked at the golf club at the Marketplace Mall for about six months before being fired on Sunday. Her manager informed her of her dismissal via text message. Star Ward posted a screenshot of the exchange to her Facebook page on Monday. On her timeline, it followed a series of photos taken Sunday while Star Ward was hospitalized. So it's not like she was lying about the miscarriage or anything else like this. And as you can see, I can't start from the beginning, obviously. But I was in surgery before I could call off today. I have a hospital note if you need. It was an unexpected thing that happened. And this is the golf center course actually sending a message back going, you're fine due to failure to com communicate about your scheduled shift. Effective immediately. Please return the keys to the stores by Friday. And obviously her saying, okay, I was in surgery last second. I don't know how I was supposed to contact you in surgery. So interesting on that one. So in the text message, Starwood will tell her manager that she was in surgery before she had time to call in for her shift and that she can provide a note from the hospital if needed. And in response, the manager says that you're fine due to your failure to communicate about your scheduled shift affected immediately. Please return the keys to the stores by Friday. Again, just going off of what we've actually said. Shoot pictures and repost Tuesday evening to the Reddit board 
and you can go and have a look to be able to put that into Reddit and you'll be able to find out. And there's more than 800 comments there, mostly from people sympathetic to her plight, which I don't understand why people would be. And there's a picture just there of the miscarriage of the baby and so on and so forth. So on Tuesday evening, uh, Jeff Bennett posted to his company's Facebook page that an investigation was underway into the situation and that the manager in question has been suspended. He said Star Ward has been reinstated. So on Wednesday, she said she was unsatisfied with the company's response. Suspended for being so harsh is not enough. She said, in that situation, I wasn't able to call in. I've never no called, no showed before. Besides, she said, I wouldn't want to work for a company who can't have a little compassion and sincerely apologise to me. Now, this is my own editorialization, my own opinion. I am with her in principle in this instance. I, I do honestly feel that it's a case of they should have been a lot better considering that she was prepared to be able to give them a doctor's note uh, a letter so on and so forth and it was a fact of according to her with no background into this i'm not 100 percent sure but according to her she's never not called and not showed in other words she's never left them in the lurch before for them to should we say overreact and i do think it's a massive overreaction to fire somebody for one of first offense for not showing up and yeah, it's their company, they can do what they want. But then actually, after they have fired her, her to go, well, look, the reason why I wasn't in work was because of blah, 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 blah. And here are the reasons and here are the, should we say, proofs that I can provide that this happened. For them to then still say, you're still fired. Only for it to then only have to go to a higher elevation after the story was broke. For the company then to actually interact with her and actually deal with her as, should we say, as a human being and actually deal with her properly. And by deal with her, I mean interact. So I'm kind of with her on that aspect. Yes, that's a picture of her. Starwood said she started having abdominal pains and contractions on Saturday night and left a night out with friends to go home and rest. She was 14 weeks pregnant. She'd had some previous bleeding issues. But her body had a heartbeat, sorry, her baby had a heartbeat and everything looked good. But around 4am on Sunday, Starwood's condition took a turn. She knew her pregnancy was in grave trouble. She called an ambulance and was rushed to Unity Hospital. Her Facebook photos from the day show her grieving over her son's tiny body. She named him Matteo Miguel Cassim. I love you, Mattiel, she posted, God is with you. And are basically just proving the point that this actually happened and was on Facebook. And yes, I know people will say, oh, but it could be fabricated. Sure, it could be. I don't see how you can actually fabricate the actual birth and the doctor's note and the actual, you know, the piece of paper with the name tag on it and so on and so forth. I don't see how you can fake all of that. But I just... I just don't understand why we can't give people a level of compassion here um, from any sort of aspect or any sort of idea of walk. But it just seems so heartless in itself. And yeah, again, it's a company. They can do what they want, so to speak. And this is now going into the court of public opinion. So I presume that their positions would be completely and utterly falling anyway. But either way, I just... I wanted to do this story because of this reason. That, yeah, sure, we've all taken a night out and we probably, and some of us mostly, have uh, called in the next day going, oh, yeah, I don't feel too well, or in some cases not even called in. Could you imagine if that happened to you on your first offence and you were sacked after being there for six to seven months? And that's the point that I think is so ridiculous about this. It's a mini golf course it's not even a big massive golf course or would you call a nine or 18 hole golf course it is a mini golf course that you get at the beaches and whatnot just little mini putts but yet she got sacked for having a miscarriage and proving the fact that she could prove it 
and still was sacked. And the only reason why this actually got anywhere is because she went to the newspapers. It, it really does boggle my mind on that issue. It really does. And it's just something that I feel that everybody can learn, regardless of what politics are, regardless of what your personal feelings are towards this person or any type of people that have had this happen. I think we can all agree that if you have a medical condition and a medical emergency, as this obviously was, then it should be treated as such and certain leniencies should be given to the person regardless of your personal feelings towards that person. Now, I don't know if she was a good worker. I don't know if she was good at her job. I don't know all of this aspects. I don't even know if she was on remand or anything else of that or, you know, being put up on report or anything. I don't, I don't know. But at the same time, you can't sack somebody for having a miscarriage. I mean, you can, they did. But don't think that people are not going to react to it. Because they are. And you're going to lose custom over this. That's the reason why in themselves, some aspects of workers' rights do need to be taken into consideration. For example, as we just said, with medical conditions and medical emergencies, they need to be taken into consideration. This in itself proves that. And I think, obviously, this is done in America... And I think that we could quite easily use this as an example for anything around the world at any point for this type of instances that probably do happen and don't get reported. That probably we do need to take more interest in what happens in and around the world in the workplace for businesses. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm advocating for people to get involved and at a proper level and try and integrate everything into everything and force people to do different things. I'm not trying to advocate for that. But I am saying that basic common rights, as in you've had a medical emergency and you've had to take time off of work, probably doesn't give that company the right to fire you due to your medical emergency if afterwards it doesn't affect your capability of doing the work. Then you go into aspects of if it does, then you have severance pays and so on and so forth and whatnot. But surely we can all agree that this is wrong. And if we can all agree that this is wrong, can we not have a conversation about how that we should maybe try and stop that from happening? And is there a legal precedent that can probably go forward with this for unfair dismissal, for instance? Which I'm not familiar with US law, but I know that you could do that in UK law and I know that you'd win. So... I'm hoping, if she has all the information and the correct relevancy as she says she has, which I'm sure she does, why she doesn't go forward with that. Because I would. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think about this story down below in, in the comment section. Have a chat with me, interact. If you like what I'm trying to do here with some more social commentary and just talking, let me know down below. If you want me to do something else, I'm still trying to pitch ideas and Try and find out what I'm actually going to do with the channel, as I'm not 100% sure yet. But let me know down below, have a conversation with me. If not, all my social media links are down below. Have a chat with me, get in contact with me. With that being said, ladies and gents, and however you may identify as, I am the Common Sense Guy. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye for now.